Albion. Albion, baby. Holy shit, it's coming at me at 30 miles an hour. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. Oh yeah, there he is. Barely got, got him. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Just, hook just came out. The biggest mistake I see people do or make when they're albie fishing is they only cast when they see the fish come up. I'd say 90% of the albies I've caught have been blind casting. So if you set yourself up on a jetty like right here, we're fishing a real long jetty. What they do is the albies swim up and down the jetty chasing bait. So just because you don't see them doesn't mean they're not there. Well, another thing you'll see is look to the guys to the left and right of you. Sometimes a guy to the right of you, you know, 100 feet down will be hooked up. But then, you know, a guy 25 feet away from you will then get hooked up. But then it's your turn to hook up. So you can almost anticipate a hookup when you see a guy to the left or right of you hook up first. Because that means the albies are probably swimming up the jetty hard. So right there, back, you know, earlier just now I lost a fish. I saw a guy probably 100 yards down the way hook up. Uh, and that meant, you know, a school was most likely waking its way up the jetty here. And I got a bite, but we spit the hook within the first probably 30 seconds. But it got the heart racing, that's for sure. What I'm using is a 7 8 ounce hoagie epoxy electric chicken. 20 pound test fluoro leader. You need fluoro. And, um,. You know, make sure it's plenty long. Because at times they're leader shy, or most of the time they are. Look at all these chub max. Come on. Look at them all. Look at, do you see that? So many chub max around today. Oh, there he is. Oh, I just lost. There he is. Chub Max. What the heck? How would that happen? It's pretty big Chub Max here. Oh my God. Come on, guy. Come on. Oh, there he goes. He's good. Chub mackerel. Pretty 
fish. I'll be on. Oh, it's a bone. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like a bone. Might be an alby. Yeah, it's an It's a bone. It's big bone. Monster bone. Oh, holy shit. Can you get a picture with me quick? Picture, can you take a picture of it quick? Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Ugh. That's a nice one. This is the biggest bone I've ever caught. It's huge. All right, that was like literally a 27 inch bone. I uh, didn't film it releasing because I really wanted to get it back in the water quick, but it's crazy. Like what I was saying, I was we were just casting into those giant schools of I guess there are bones, blitzing bones, and you know not a take probably because I was just casting into the middle of the school and there were when you cast in the middle of the school they're already you know proned in on their bait so you really maybe should cast to the outside or let it sink more but anyway you know I caught that fish on the blind cast whereas some people I see here they won't blind cast unless you see fish jumping. And it's so many of the fish we catch, or I catch here, are on the blind cast. Even though, you know, a lot of times you'll cast right in the school, you might not get one. So, even though you're not seeing them blitz, doesn't mean you shouldn't be casting. He's huge! Matt, is my GoPro on? Is my GoPro on? Yeah. Dude, did you see that hit? I did. Fucking crazy. Nice one. Uh. Can you take my phone? Quick, quick, quick. Got him. I think this is the smallest one I've ever caught. All right, quick picture. You got my phone? That was probably one of the smallest albies I've caught, but they still fight so good. He ate this uh, 7 8 sound electric chicken epoxy. It's my favorite. Probably my all time favorite alby lure. Like I said, that fish was not that big for an alby, and yet it fought so good. The speed is just crazy. Like, this is. This is a lot of drag right here. I don't know what relates to poundage, but definitely a lot of drag and no problem peeling it out. And I got a good release on it, but again, I just wanted to release it quick 
and I put my camera down or my uh, GoPro down to take a picture with it and then just threw it back and then pick up the GoPro again to save time. It was hard to see with all the waves but there he is. My reel's like seizing up. Come on, man, it's all right, it's all right. Holy shit. This reel is seizing. What is up with that? All right, I got him. All right, that was far. Nope, not yet. Come here. Got him. Oh yeah, beautiful. Oh, that was a hard fight. That was hard. Look at this fish, guys. Oh, that was a hard one. That did not come easy. That was a sick feed. Such a sick feed. Okay. Bigger. It was like 26 inches. Last one yesterday was 25. But my reel is like seizing up on me right now. It's super weird. But I literally saw the fish porpoising. You started there. I just cast it. There's like three fish porpoising right there. It was like jump, jump, jump. Then my lure was right over there. So they swam into it. One hit it. And then he missed it. And another one got it. And that's when it was game on. But hopefully my reel doesn't uh, completely shit the bed on me here. Hooked up. Hooked up nice here. Here he goes. He's good. 